Okay, so for the other half of the dough, we're going to make a cinnamon sticky bun. And this was inspired by a restaurant visit that we all made together to uh, La Duny Latin Kitchen in Fairview, Texas. And the dessert item that both Denise and I ordered was called Royal Caneja y Nuez, which is cinnamon rolled with pecans. So that's what we're going to make. So I've got a half cup of brown sugar, a half cup of granulated sugar, a half cup of water, a tablespoon of butter, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and we're going to put it in a tablespoon of dark brown corn syrup. And I'm going to bring that up. So bring that pretty close to a boil, I think. And then I'll add the pecans. And then I'll add the pecans. Good, let's make sure it's been boiling for almost two minutes. Just a little bit longer, and I'm going to add my pecans. It looks like these are like pecan sticky buns. Yeah. I'm going to take it off the heat. I'm going to let that cool while I roll out the dough into, uh, into a sheet and then put it into four strips and make cinnamon rolls. So I've got my four ramekins here that I'm going to put my dough in. I've got my pizza cutter that I'm going to use to cut my cinnamon rolls. I've got my half the dough here. I've got my flour on my marble countertop here. Let's roll this stuff out. So I've got some softened butter in my butter bell. I've got a pastry brush. I'm just going to brush my sheet of dough before I cut it with softened butter. So the butter bell lets you keep butter softened on the counter, like at room temperature, but it doesn't spoil because it's surrounded by uh, water that doesn't get into the into the butter. So I'm going to put some cinnamon and powdered sugar. This is about three tablespoons of powdered sugar. I'm going to put three uh, three teaspoons of cinnamon. You were supposed to have that laid out already. Yeah. yeah. Shake that up a little bit. That little thing you've got there is a powdered sugar duster, or you could also use cocoa in it. Any fine type of yeah. powder. I'm just gonna. Powdered sugar all over that fresh butter. You could pot, purchase that uh, shaker either online or just go to the back and beyond or any kitchen right yeah. here. We've had this for years. Another thing you could do is have like, one of those hand sifters yeah. and just put it in and tap it yeah. like you're just sifting flour. That would work too. I'm going to cut my dough into four strips. One strip per yeah. dessert. So I'm just going to take it in and start rolling it up. Cinnamon side in. They're going to be taller than the ramekins he's That's putting okay. them in. The, the, Are you laying it flat? Or well, okay? no. Well, sort of. You yeah. see whatever you like. There, let's zoom in so you can see it. Stick a chair. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of what he did. Then I'm going to pour, I'm going to spoon over the cinnamon mixture after that. And then these are going to go in the fridge until we're ready to bake them. For those of you in the north who say pecan, 
We say it down here in the south, pecan. Pecans. As in pecan pie. One of my favorite desserts. All right, we've got our cinnamon rolls out, ready to go in the oven. As you can see, they continue to rise after they've been, been in the fridge for several hours. I'm heating the oven to 400 degrees, and we will bake them for 15 minutes. They look beautiful. Ooh. Look at that. We're waiting for you to say something. So uh, these were in the oven for 20 minutes. They got really nice and golden. They've yeah. definitely overflowed. I'm going to have to uh, scoop the pecans back onto them probably. I'm going to have to plate them because the bottoms are going to be a little sticky. Oh, the cinnamon roll. The cinnamon roll with all of the caramel sauce in the bottom. Okay, that was excellent. Oh, the cinnamon roll. Okay, so that was uh, interesting. Uh, it was made from the same dough as the buns, and they were in little ramekins, and individual ramekins, and they looked deceptively simple on top because it was just roll and had uh, pecans sprinkled on top. And it turns out when you got to digging down beneath, that's where all the syrup was, and I'm sure Tommy will explain the syrup and probably have a... Uh, link to a recipe that you can probably see right here and they were uh, once you dug down deep it was awesome so don't eat too much off the top just kind of mix it all together and get you a big old syrupy thing going with your roll and it was very delicious very cinnamony and uh, very definitely had a, a Mexican almost a uh, cajeta kind of thing if you know what cajeta is so very good Oh, the cinnamon rolls were to die for. Oh my God, they, when we uh, took our fork and went into the ramekin with it, uh, we hit this very wet bottom of the ramekin, which was all of that sugar and butter and, and the pecans. Um, very, very decadent, very delicious. You will love it. Uh, the only thing uh, I think our host even mentioned that is we had, we should have had some maybe in reserve of the sauce that we could have maybe drizzled over the top, I think, because the top wound up being kind of dryish. But the rest of it was super good. So maybe just a little bit reserved on the side. I was, I was pretty happy with the way that turned out. I, w I think I would reserve about half of the caramel, the cinnamon sauce, and pour it over the top after it came out of the oven. I think that would work much better. Although having that uh, really gooey bottom was really decadent. The mess in place. So Harry, how could we have uh, reduced the mess? Well, you couldn't do anything about the butter bell, so that's that. And you, you used the plastic cups for the measuring, so that was good. And then we recycled them or we threw with them, so that was good. Everything else was in the glass bowl. You couldn't do much about that either. Um, the only other thing was try to use one measuring cup, but net what you did? Use two. You used two measuring cups? One you, was for solids and one was for... Well, there's really nothing you can do about that either. <laughs> this time, Tommy gets an A+. Plus. If you want to see me cooking something else, click here. If you want Daddy to tell you a bedtime story, click here.